Hey gang, we are in Jamaica Plain, which is South Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm at a cemetery called Forest Hills. This place is massive. I want to give a shout out to our Kimberly for suggesting the story, the little boy in the boat. What makes this story remarkable is the, the memory that was left by his mother in the way of this amazing sculpture that we're going to see. And it's under this beautiful glass case. And it's like something I've never seen. Now this cemetery, Forest Hills, is massive. And it almost reminds me a little bit of Bella Fontaine down in St. Louis or even Graceland. But we're going to have to come back and do some more stories here. But today we're just going to do the short story of the little boy who died he fell overboard in the boat. And it was in 1886, and he was in that boat in Jamaica Pond. This little four-year-old boy, he was almost five. Louis Moussier noticed his pet rabbit was running along the bank, probably following him. And he reached out of the little boat to reach for his pet, but he lost balance and he fell out. And sadly, he drowned. He died three months actually short of his fifth birthday. Now, his mother chose to commemorate her son's last resting place here by having the sculpture made representing his last moment of life. Before her death, his mother gave money to a lawyer to place flowers on the grave frequently. Of course, she came every day, but she wanted people to remember him after she passed. But eventually the money ran out and the lawyer died. And there it is, right straight ahead. And I can see from here that it is immaculate. We're coming from the rear side. And I see already it is, of course, protected the marble. And it's not just some plexiglass. This is, this is glassworks. And look at the bronze brass framing. Boy, there was some love and effort spent on this. So let's take a look at the little boy. It looks like he has a tennis racket. Look at that. And look at the dress. Little boys of that time, they wore the hair. They they almost looked like girls. Boy, oh boy, there's, there's some amazing detail here on this sculpture. I, it's breathtaking. A perfect state of preservation. And look at that, even the little the coil of rope, the brass ring. And his name is inscribed in the back there. Boy, I can't get over this. Look at this. That is amazing. Look at the shoes. Stockings. You can even see the lines, the vertical lines in the stockings. The clam, the flowers, just amazing. I have not seen anything like this, guys. And as I stand here, you stand here and you look at this. It's a beautiful memory of this boy and you say to yourself, 
how did this happen? Was the boat really that little? I'm sure it was not. I'm sure the boat was bigger, but was he alone in the boat? Like, if there's an adult, he's, he's four years old, you're not going to be in a boat like that by yourself. Who's, why are we not jumping in saving him? He must have been close to the bank. He didn't know how to swim. The sculptor who did this was rather renowned in his time from Bavaria. It's a man named Max Grime or Green, who was born in 1863, emigrated to the United States in 1869, and he was living here in Jamaica Plain at 56 Chestnut Street. He was married, and he became a citizen. And I will show you a picture right now of him next to a model for a portion of what was to be the Robert Gould Shaw Memorial, which was to immortalize the brave attack on Battery Wagner by the Massachusetts 54th Regiment. Now there's an inscription here. There's a couple of inscriptions. Look at the way the light is prisming through the beveled glass. And I'll show you, it it's really has an amazing effect, and this glass is very expensive, I might say, but look at the effect that is making. Of course, the mother was devastated. My only and darling child, Louis Ernest Monsieur, born December 21st, 1881, died. September 26, 1886, so we, it was an early fall, and it says, Mother's Tribute of Affection. I think there was an inscription on the front. Yeah. Rest in peace, little boy. So sorry what happened to you. Rest in peace.